you already know what I'm going to say. So, interfaces. What are they? Why do we use them? How do we use them? Are they self-aware? We touched on interfaces back in my last video about what microphone is best for you. You can find that video in the description below. But what does an interface do? An interface supplies power to the microphone. If you have a USB microphone, you can skip an interface altogether because a USB microphone goes directly into your computer. But if you have an XLR microphone, and that's what I recommend you have if you want to be competitive in the voiceover industry, you're going to need an audio interface to supply power to that XLR microphone. So simply put, you plug your XLR microphone into the interface and then the interface into your computer. The interface gives you tons of flexibility and control with how you record your audio. But let's now talk about what interface you should buy for voiceover work. The first one to come to mind is the Apollo Twin, or really just the entire Apollo line of interfaces. Let me first say I own and use the USB Apollo Twin and love it. It's an awesome interface that gives you features well beyond most other interfaces. But I also record, mix, and produce music as well as sound design, so those extra bells and whistles make sense for me. So, the question is, should you get an Apollo interface? Well, no, probably not. You need to ask yourself, what are you going to be using it for? Are you just going to be recording voiceovers? In that case, you'd be spending an extra six or $700 for nothing. Most interfaces these days, all the big trusted brands like Steinberg, Audient, Focusrite, just to name a few, make amazing quality interfaces at extremely affordable price points. To further explain what I mean, let's talk about preamps. Well, first off, what's a preamp? So all you need to know is every interface has a preamp that supplies power to the microphone, and every interface has its own self-noise that is generated by that preamp. These days, most big-name interfaces perform relatively the same at recording raw audio. So what I mean is how clean can it record your audio? If you went with a super cheap off-brand interface, you can almost be guaranteed that the audio would not be clean. It would have a lot of self-noise or hiss in the audio. So you would definitely want to buy a well-known brand and model of interface. But once you get to those well-known brands and models, they pretty much all perform the same when it comes to recording clean audio. The incredibly minor difference between the interfaces wouldn't be heard by 99% of people. If you're only planning on recording voiceover, you might as well save yourself a ton of money and just go with something like the Focusrite Solo or the Focusrite 2i2 3rd Gen. Now, some people like to claim that the preamp inside the Apollo is cleaner and has a higher gain output than most other interfaces. In a real world scenario, that's just not the case. As I said earlier, I use the Apollo Twin at home, and here at work, I use the Scarlett 2i2 3rd Gen, and that's what you're hearing right now. And the only difference you would hear in the audio here is the fact that I'm on a different microphone, and the space that I'm recording in right now really isn't treated, whereas I record in a treated booth at home. So if you're recording live instruments or live sounds for higher end production work, then the Apollo Twin can be a game changer for your workflow. So don't forget to go to our kit.co page to see all of the interfaces that we recommend as well as any other equipment for voiceover that we recommend. And if you're looking for some great online courses for voiceover, you can head over to provoiceovertraining.com. We'll be adding courses each month, so don't forget to go over to provoiceovertraining.com to see what's new. And if you're local, don't forget to call, go online, or stop by Atlanta VoiceOver Studio to see what classes we offer. And if you're not local, we offer all of the same live classes over Zoom so you can connect anywhere you want. And don't forget, you can book auditions and book jobs in our main studio at Atlanta VoiceOver Studio. And finally, we have this new thing called the Mic Shootout. You can come in, we'll take you back to our main studio, and we'll let you try out 10 high-end microphones to see which one sounds best for your specific voice. Then we'll give you a sheet that lists out all 10 of those microphones and alternative microphones that don't cost as much as the high-end microphones, but they sound a lot like the high-end microphones. So that way you can save some money. I hope this video has helped you further understand what an interface is, why we use one, and most importantly, which interface is best for you. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And uh, well, you know what they say.